Hi, you're eights. This is the next body percussion video. That rhythm I was clapping. As some of you will recall, we talked about that in the last lesson. That's called the clave son rhythm. It's one of the essential rhythms of Cuban music. I thought it'd be interesting to learn how to actually speak it using solcatu. Um, this rhythm is the kind of rhythm that it's one of those rhythms that's complicated, but actually, if you just sort of feel it and you just kind of groove along. It's actually quite easy to get, but if you're going to play along with it, it's really, really critical to understand how it's subdividing. And when we do the body percussion elements, what we need to be able to do is to be able to think through this rhythm and think exactly how it's dividing. So that if we have to do something else like stomp our feet or do a different action, that we can integrate that with what we're doing because we understand exactly, exactly what's going on. So clave son, how does it work? So it goes one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, one, two, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, one, two, one, two, three, four. One, two, one, two, three, four. For a lot of you, that's, that's a lot of information to have in your head. And I find it's actually easier to think of in terms of Sokatu. So in Sokatu, it's a group of three, which is Takita. Another group of three, Takita. Then it's a group of four, which we just learned, Takedimi. Then it's a group of two, Taka, which we learned ages ago, Minuet and G. And then another group of four, Takedimi. So the whole thing together goes, Takita, Takita, Takedimi, Taka, Takedimi, Takita, Takita, Takedimi, Taka, Takedimi. Now let's slow that right down and then we'll look at it actually kind of quickly. You might find that if you find it actually quite hard to do slowly, some of you will find actually doing it quickly is easier. Some of you will think, oh my gosh, you can't do it that quickly. And actually the slow way works. So we'll start with it slow. So here we go. Takita, takita, takedimi, taka, takedimi, takita, takita, takedimi, Okay, now we'll have a look at it quickly. What I want you to do now is I want you to pick which one you think is the easier for you, as I say, different people will favor different ones, and just choose and practice that. Because if you can get that, if you can get that kind of joining up of the Sokatu syllables in your head, that understanding that it's always going tick, 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 that there's this really steady subdivision of the beat going on that creates these patterns, that you understand that that's not just a jumble of long and short stuff that is all built on these syllables that go Every one of those is the same length. That's the subdivision that your brain needs to be working at. If you can do that, all this stuff just becomes this, this unlocked door and you can understand how you can create different rhythms. And that's really the key to creating complicated what we call cross rhythms. So, you know, your foot's doing one thing, your hand's doing another thing. Also, cross rhythms work with other musicians. So that guy's doing one thing, I'm doing this, another boy's doing something else. If you're thinking and are aware of the subdivisions of music, there's a whole world of really, really cool rhythms out there for you. Okay, give it a practice. Take it slow, take it fast, do whatever you need to do. See you next lesson. Thanks.